<clears throat> Hello, people out there on YouTube. Um, I've been following with a great deal of interest over the last four or five months. Uh, ah, this. Um, I'm doing a little bit of Amdram where I'm playing the Sheriff of Nottingham in uh, Robin Hood and His Merry Men. So that's why I've got this ridiculous facial hair. Anyway, moving on. Uh, or as someone would say, hold that thought. Um, yeah, so this ongoing battle between DSLRs, that old dinosaur tech, versus uh, mirrorless technology. Um, and it's been fascinating. I've made the change. I've gone from Canon 5D3s to Sony um, A7III's. Uh, um, this is the other one. That's the other one. This is the other one. Uh, this is with the 135 uh, Sigma um, E-mount. Lovely. Um, and I've one of the arguments that keeps on cropping up is color science. And I've been I've got to admit that I didn't know much about color science. Uh, I don't go that deeply into what my cameras produce. I don't analyze the reds or the yellows or the cyan to any particular great depth. I look at the process holistically and I say, that's a nice photograph. My client will be happy with that, be it a wedding or product stuff um, or any portraiture. I'm currently working on a street photography book, um, which I'm loving. Um, will be coming out next year, um, but it's kind of localized. Uh, it's about Stroud, which is a, a fantastic town close to where I live. Um, so color science, I've, d I've done some research on it. Um, and it's extraordinary, uh, uh, you know, goes deep, deep into, ironically, I, I, my brother, uh, my younger brother, uh, Duncan, he works in um, the business of color science, uh, but at the sort of production end, uh, he is a telecine operator or colorist, uh, and he works in, up in London, movies, commercials, you know, high-end stuff, um, so he knows I don't know if he knows about the technology, but I will be asking him about it. And a lot of, so, excuse me, just had lunch. A lot of people are asking the question or, or mention Canon color science. They prefer Canon color science. And there is a lot of background to that. But my question is, can you recognize Canon color science? Can you say that photograph was taken by a Sony? a Panasonic, um, a Nikon, um, you know, Fuji. Can you say that with absolute certainty? I don't know if you could. Uh, I would be impressed if you could. Um, I couldn't, uh, so I, I hold my hand up to that. Um, but that's probably because it's not something that I'm particularly uh, intrigued by. Although I'm intrigued by it. Um, but does it make a, a great photograph? You know, uh, you know, most people who see our work are lay people. Um, you know, unless we're sharing our work with, uh, you know, fellow professionals uh, and they say, oh, I love the reds in this. Uh, I love the relationship between the greens. I love the fade from the green to the blue. Those, those, you know, those. So, yes, is it a very, you know, sort of cliquey thing to be obsessed with? Um, you know, I've read a few uh, blogs, um, uh, some uh, people who have done a great deal, put a great deal of work in trying to explain color science. It's a lot, I see a lot of it based in cine uh, uh, cameras, you know, as in, you know, the film world rather than still stuff. But yes, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested when people mention color science, um, but I, it isn't for me a... Uh, the, uh, a, con uh, a major consideration when thinking about what tech to buy, what camera to buy. So if, if it is something uh, that you can uh, share with me, you know, put a link to an article, uh, you know, down below. I'm interested if, if there's, you know, a uh, simple explanation as to why it's better in one and or the other, put a link to it. I'm, I'm fascinated. I'm, I'm always eager to learn. Uh, so 
yeah, you know, Sony, Canon, whoever. Um, I'm loving my Sony. It's very small, very easy to carry around. It's good for street. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's my understanding or my first foray into this discussion. And let's keep it civil and let's be cool and may the light be forever in your favor. Have a good day.